So how's it going guys, Shady here and today I'm gonna show you guys my updated version of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Uh, since last time I brought you guys this deck, uh, it went completely bonkers. We now have Alternative White Dragon as a card and not a skill, which makes the de deck uh, in uh, not in um, a million times better. Because now we can play both Ultimate Dragons and Alternative, which is really, really good. Um, and uh, we got some level, uh, no, not level, rank 8 Xyz monsters that are decent, so the deck is now um, more uh, stronger than it was. Uh, and yeah, they gave us a, a structure deck which um, uh, add cards of consonants and the, the, the stone, the, the white stone of ancients, which helps a lot on completing my deck, which uh, those were the cards that I was missing, so now my deck is complete. Uh, I also um, grinded uh, Kaiba so I could get the melody, and yeah, now the deck is complete. Um, three days ago I started playing this on ranked, I was plat- no, gold? I was a high gold, I think it was gold 5 or gold 6, something like that. And in those two days, I think I played like four hours in the first and six hours in the second. And I got to King of Games from there with this deck, almost never losing, which was completely insane. Uh, the ones I lost were like four games, I think. Uh, two of them was Brick. Uh, one of them was Water Xyz and they went first, so uh, Abyss Dweller just sh sh shut off my deck. And um, the other one, I think um, it was Onomets, which were able to um, OTK me because I uh, I, I couldn't get uh, myself um, that 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 good of a um, turn one play. So yeah. Um, besides that, uh, we went undefeated and got to King of Games and after that I went in a tournament in which I basically uh, went 2 and 3 um, which was um, kinda bad for me um, I should have went 3 and 2 in which I will have a chance to qualify for the top 32 um, but I bricked uh, really hard I had melody, my end was Melody uh, 1 Blue Eyes and 2 Stones I think and uh, I was thinking, well, this is a, a great end. And then the card I draw was alternative. So my end was not that good because... Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, no, I didn't have any stones. I I think it was Sage. Sage or something like that. So, yeah, my end was completely shit. And because of that, since my opponent started with double... Uh, card of consonants. Uh, I lost the duel, and if I would have won the duel, I would go three and two and have a chance to qualify for the the top 32 of the of the tournament. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, the tournament that I went in was a uh, Friday. I think it was um, f uh, the Friday battle phase uh, tournament by uh, Duel Links Entertainment. I'm gonna leave them in the description if you want to check out their tournaments. Uh, I'm recording this at Sunday, so uh, it should be uh, going now uh, a tournament, I think a battle phase tournament at this point, so uh, if you want to go check them, um, even though I might not post this on Sunday, but you know, check them so next week you can go into their tournament. But yeah, enough about that, let's talk about the deck. Uh, okay, right here. Okay, so uh, first of f um, first the skill Ultimate Dragon is completely insane. It adds uh, Ultimate Blue Eyes White Dragon and um, uh, Neo Blue Eyes and a Twin Burst, as you can see, to the extra deck, which are pretty good cards. Um, and then uh, turn three on on onward, or um, and by that it means that uh, on your after your uh, uh, second turn, I think, yeah, second turn, um, you can reveal m two blue eyes in your hand and add a polymerization, 
which is really good because it lets us go into um, these strong um, fusion monsters. Okay, and having Twin Burst is just really insane because of Banishing. So it helps a lot with decks that um, we would uh, be struggling against, like Lunalites. We would struggle because they will just uh, make the Saber Dancer, which is like more than 3000 attacks, so we can't go over by battle. And we had no way to remove them because we didn't have any any banishment. But now Twin Burst helps us solve that. Uh, yeah, this, skin, this skill is insane. I don't know. I, I think they may uh, either um, nerf it or just uh, make the active... Um, yeah, yeah, they, they might nerf it. Uh, but yeah, let's go into the card. So one copy of alternative. Um, this card is insane. Um, you can basically reveal a blue eyes, special summon, can activate to destroy one monster your opponent controls. And you're able to use this with, for example, a White Son of Ancients to Synchro into any of your monster level 9 uh, Synchros. And then next turn, if you add, use the Stone of Ancients, you can add back to your hand and keep special summoning, removing, and go like on like that. Uh, so yeah, it's a really cool card. And I really like that they gave us a card not just in the skill. Uh, next, White Stone of Ancients, we're playing three of them because uh, it's a must. Basically, when this card is in the graveyard, on the end phase, you can special summon one Blue Eyes White Dragon from your deck. Uh, and you can banish this card to add, uh, to add one Blue Eyes monster from your graveyard to your hand. So that's why that you can get, get back one alternative White Dragon, or a Blue Eyes, or even a Spirit, but I don't think you're gonna do it. But you can add a Blue Eyes to go into your fusions or add an alternative to get more special summon and remove Then we're playing one Dragon Spirit of White, because uh, back row removal, this can be sp special summoned by Whitestone of Ancients, it's treated as a normal monster, so we can special summon by Ancient Rules, it's a level 8, so it can be used on other Xyz or Synchros, and on summon, uh, you can target one spell trap your control, uh, your opponent controls, banish it, and if your opponent controls a monster and this card would be, um, you know, if you, your opponent like activates anything on the, like a floodgate or something, you can just uh, tribute and special summon on blue eyes from your hand, so it, it can float, which is really good, and sometimes if you're going for a Neo, uh, blue eye, Neo blue eyes ultimate white dragon, um, you can basically summon this with uh, Sage or something like that to the field to remove the back row, Tribute, so you can special summon a Blue Eyes, and then you only have Blue Eyes, so the Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate White Dragon will be able to attack the three times if you if you need. Uh, but yeah, this is a great card for the deck, especially being treated as a normal monster. But uh, let's keep going. Triple Sage, so this uh, basically Let's us search for stones like the White Stone of Legend or the White Stone of Ancients. So basically, we're playing seven stones, which is good because of our cards of consonants. And you can send this card from your uh, hand and tar uh, end to the graveyard and target one face up uh, light tuner. So you're going to target either stones or uh, another sage on the field that you use to search for a stone to discard with cards of consonants and you're gonna special summon either a dragon spirit of white or a blue eyes from your deck so uh, yeah really good card um white stone of legends because sometimes you're gonna need like a, the second or a third blue eyes to go into some fusion something like that and um being able to search it is good so yeah um since it's um, search searchable with Sage, it's a really good card. Uh, triple Blue Eyes, because you have to play the three of them in this deck. It's impossible to run this deck with less than three. Um, then we have uh, Triple Cards of Consonants. This is the part of Grid of the deck, so you discard one tuner, uh, one of your level one dragon type tuners, I mean. Um, and you draw two cards, so all the stones you have you can send them to the graveyard to draw cards, and on, 
the ancients on end phase special summons and or the other the other one searches for a blue eyes so you have um you're creating card advantage with this this these two cards uh one melody because you can discard one card and search uh blue uh two two cards um either a blue eyes and an alternative or a blue eyes with another blue eyes so it Having this guarantees your access to alternative and the blue eyes, so you, it guarantees you a functional alternative white dragon in your hand, which is pretty good. Or either can just uh, search for more blue eyes, so you can go into bigger fusions like Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate White Dragon. Double Ancient Rules because uh, you want to be as aggra aggressive as you can with this build, either special summoning more monsters to Xyz or just like. The Dragon Spirit of White remove back row and then Xyz slash Synchro, you know, something like that. So it's a really, really good card for the deck. Uh, if you don't have this and you have the structure decks, go for Cosmos. But since this is a, a rank duels art ticket, you most, pre most probably have it by now. Uh, then double Treacherous. If you don't have Treacherous, you can play whatever you want. But Treacherous is freaking broken so um we're playing double treacherous uh then the twin burst because it came in the structure and can be good this can also be like contact fusion so that's why this card is so good and can attack twice it's not it cannot be destroyed by battle and if it battles a monster and the monster is not destroyed banish it really good card uh, double Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon because these uh, can shut out decks like Ritual Beasts and something like that. Uh, can get some pretty good um, graveyard uh, negation effects and can float into another monster which will be the Azur Azure Eyes. So yeah, pretty good card. Um, I'm playing two of them because I have. If you only have one it's fine, just get other type of monster. Maybe add in Gigantic Castle. Uh, which is something I'm trying, uh, I'm thinking of giving up one Twin Burst to get a Gigantic Castle. Uh, then we have one Vermilion because you can banish a Tuner to destroy one card on the field. And if it is destroyed by card effect, you can add back one of your Tuners. So yeah, it's just a pop effect. And if it's destroyed by card effect, you can re um, uh, get back one of your Tuners, which is really good for the deck. Uh, then we have double Azure Eyes, so basically on if it's special summon, all dragon type monsters you currently control cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects until the end of your opponent's, no, until the end of the next turn, so it, for two turns you protect all monsters you currently control, um, if they're dragons, and during your standby phase you can target one normal monster in the graveyard special summon, so sometimes if you're going first I like to go um, Spirit Dragon, with a Dragon Spirit of White on the field, so if uh, if anything happens, I float into Azure. Um, if I have a Blue Eyes on my end, I can like float, uh, like tribute Spirit of White to special summon by Blue Eyes. And since I floated my um, Spirit Dragon into an Azure on the uh, standby phase, I can take care of a, a card on my opponent's graveyard, uh, not graveyard, a uh, spell and trap zone. Which is really good. So yes, sometimes if um, if this card doesn't is not in your starting hand, which believe me, um, I don't know how a uh, one off appears so much in my starting hand. It's insane. Like on that tournament, I played. I think it was um, the amount of duels like twelve, and I opened Spirit of White. Eight times. It's insane how this card likes to start in your hand. It's like it has a, a secondary effect for it. But yeah, uh, then we have uh, Euratic Sun Dragon, Overlord of Heliopolis. So, two level eight, uh, you detach one Xyz material and tribute any number of monsters, including itself. So, if they like do anything like Canadia itself, you can tribute itself as uh, to destroy a monster. So, yeah, it's a really good card, and especially if you're going like for Neo Blue Eyes beatdown, and you have like um, three Blue Eyes in your hand or two plus a um, stone on your graveyard, you make this uh, if you have um, the monsters on the field, tribute itself, destroy at least one card or more, depending on what you have in your hand, 
clear all the dangerous stuff to your new blue eyes, get the other blue eyes monsters on your hand, and fusion summon for game. So yeah, uh, this deck is really strong and I have some replays for you guys now. Uh, I, I have like 5 replays, but I don't think I'm gonna show everything, I'm just gonna show some and break down what happens in here. <coughs> okay, so we're going against Zane in the first game and I'm thinking about Cyber Dragons. This is my rank up match too, so um, yeah. Um, doesn't activate anything on the start, so I'm really thinking about uh, Cyber Dragons, but in this case it was actually uh, <laughs> Luna Lights, but never mind. No, uh, I'm just... Um, oh no, oh no, no, it wasn't this game. Yes, it's Cyber Dragon, okay? So he goes into card, searches for Overflow, and I think he sets two. Okay, so now... Um, Oh, what I draw? Yeah, I draw a spirit. I'm gonna go into my alternative white dragon here. I'm gonna try to pop his cyber cyber uh, dragon core. Uh, try to synchro summon maybe into um, into like a spirit dragon. Uh, I think. Uh, I I don't know. I don't remember what I what it was. Uh. Yeah, I don't remember that well, but I'm gonna single summon after getting my my alternative and um, I'm gonna pop now, or no? Oh, I'm not gonna pop, sorry, this was like two days ago, so I don't remember that well. I'm going for the Spirit Dragon and I special summon my Blue Eyes from the deck, because once again, we start with Dragon Spirit of White. Okay, so he draws and he just sets a card and it's his turn. Okay, so this time I'm thinking he doesn't have anything to do right now. So I'm adding back my alternative. I'm gonna special summon it again. I'm gonna activate to pop and XC summon into my Heliopolis. And I'm gonna try to get rid of as many um, uh, traps as I can. And I was able to do so. Um, he had the cybernetic overflow, which I didn't know why he didn't activate. Uh, I, maybe he was like on... Um, he had um, turned off the... How's it called? He turned off the... Oh, I don't remember. Turned off the toggle button, maybe something like that. Uh, but never mind, we just go in and win this game pretty easily. Uh, don't know why he didn't activate that at all. Uh, maybe he didn't know what my Heliopolis does or something, but he, sh he should have um, used that cybernetic overflow. But even like that, we still win. We have enough cards to get a second monster on the field, so pretty much an easy win. Okay, and now I think this is Water Axis, which counters our deck most times, but we open really well, even though Dragon Spirit of White comes again in our opening end. Okay, so um, I'm gonna Melody, take care of the stone and search for the alternative. Okay, I'm gonna special summon... Oh no, I summon first the um, Sage to search for the stone, get my alternative and Synchro summon for the... Um, what it is, the Dragon Spirit of White. And that's my play, because now I end the turn and special summon a Spirit... No, not a Spirit of the White, because I opened with it. Yeah. My luck sometimes is just am amazing. Okay, so we end our turn and then he just sets one, gets a D.Va. Okay, but this is the advantage that I, I have in this, in this uh, duel. Since I went first, I can just... Um, negate whatever it detaches because it activates on the graveyard so oh now we divine refs which i was thinking was a bit hot but uh, it is what it is he decided to pop with um, the atlantean but i decided to negate it uh, and now i can just go into vermilion I banished the Sage to destroy that back row. It was a Forbidden Lance, but never mind. 
we just go into attack and get rid of both monsters that our opponent controls. And we're sitting on a really nice position, he's gonna draw and quit because he didn't draw into a good card. Whatever it was, we have lots of plays to do, okay? Uh, we have alternative on our graveyard. We can just, like, pop with Vermilion, force him to activate the card. Uh, anything happens to our Synchro, we can just float. Vermilion is fine. Um, I can just get my alternative on field and go for game. So, at this point, the game was already done. Uh, let's go for another one. Maybe I'll get even another replay. And I'm thinking of uh, starting to go like for uh, live duels, maybe, uh, in these videos. Comment down below, do you prefer live duels or do you prefer uh, me breaking down my replays? Okay, so we start really well again. Um, I'm gonna summon my White Sun of Ancients. Oh, and let me take care of them. Yeah, I'm gonna let the animation go through. Uh, I love this animation, by the way. This is really, really cool animation. And I really like that they gave Alternative White Dragon an animation. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it right here. I'm just... I, I need to do this more often. Yeah, I'm gonna take care of character lines for replays. Okay, so we Synchro Summon into Spirit Dragon for the turn. It's basically always the same, but this time we can have a Spirit of White play that I always say. Okay, he goes into Cards of Constant, so we're playing against Dragoonity, and um, I panic I panic the um, float too well. I, uh, it's the same thing, just I'm protecting for targets, since I know he's going into the, the Dragoonity like the level 10. I think it's, um, yeah, Ascalon. So he can't banish my monster, so he has to destroy them by battle. And if I... Yeah, right here. So I could have, like force him to like activate and then float, something like that, but I was afraid of him getting rid of my uh, Spirit of White. Uh, so next turn I just go for Vermilion, the White Sun is gonna add me another Blue Eyes. I'm gonna try to pop with my... Um, what it is, um, trying to pop with my Vermilion, the back row, uh, because I want it to not be like bad for me. But at this point I have two blue eyes in my hand, I have an alternative on the on my hand, so I can just go in, pop, uh, do whatever I want, and that's game for me. I can just like do, go into Twin Burst, banish both monsters my opponent has, and go for game with both, uh, both monsters I have on field, so the, that's it for my opponent. Uh, pretty cool to face Dragonity, I haven't seen that deck in a while. Um, they, like, always come come in in, like, um, KC Cup, but on the rank, it's really, really uh, difficult to see them. Um, okay, text is in German, I don't know why, but it is what it is. So, this time we have a bad end, so <laughs> we set stones and pass, but uh, my opponent is playing, I think it was Infernity, so he's just gonna set set and pass, because Infernity is a turn 2 deck, not a turn 1. Uh, I go for Ancient Rules and Dragon Spirit of White, and he just, like like I said, Infernity, they gonna stall for the turn. I flip summon my monster, go for the... Um, what it is, um, the Synchro, and search summon a Blue Eyes from the deck, and since they, they are on, like, um, OTK deck, like, they want a 6000 attack monster, I put my Blue Eyes on defense, so I don't get any damage, and uh, I'm gonna like try to negate what I can, which in this case will be nothing, I think. Yeah, I decide to float because he could pop, and this time I'm safe. He just goes for more Infernity plays, you know, it's the usual. Okay, Let's continue searching. Going to Charge Warrior. And Onimaru, which was what I was saying. And here he draws one, goes for Mirage again, just complete, goes into another Infinity combo. And searches for the Beetle? I don't know why. Oh yeah, he wants this card with Branek, but he, he can't. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, since I protected from targeting, they can't send back my monsters, and though I stalled for that turn, I summon stone and synchro summon for vermilion because I'm trying to get rid of like the back row, which can be bad for my deck. I get back another blue eyes and I go for twin burst. And my opponent here um, does a lot of life buried, which I don't know why I wasn't going to like uh, win this turn. Doesn't matter, I set Treacherous and banish both monsters with my Twin Burst and then attack just because I can. He goes for Launcher again, sets that one card and then he realizes he has no more... Oh, it was time limit, but uh, I don't think he played uh, another Onimaru and uh, there was no way he would play through my Treacherous. Uh, so, I, I don't think he even had like the win con anymore, so yeah, he went too much overboard the first, first time and lost, so it is what it is. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna show another one, just because I can. This is the last replay for today. Um, but yeah, Infernity, it's a cool deck, but the moment they ran out of um, win cons, which is uh, after your first try to OTK, uh, it's dead. It's, Either go, um, it's all in. Either this this turn I win or I lose the duel immediately. Okay, so uh, next turn I have a really good end. I go Sage, Cards of Consonants uh, with my Stone, get another one. So I did part of Grid twice and get to search another blue eyes. So we have two blue eyes. I'm gonna use Ancient Rules to Synchro Summon into my um, Blue Eye Spirit Dragon, set the Treacherous and get another blue eyes. So it's pretty good, we drew a lot, we are really set up for whatever comes next, but yeah, the back row removal, and it's playing Noble Knights. But uh, Noble Knights uh, kind of struggle against this deck, I'm just gonna protect myself, you know, uh, Spirit Dragon. He equips just because he wants to get some life, bond, life points, and if this card um, gets off the field, he can just like... Um, um, summon another monster so he wants the Noble Arms Caliburn, you know. Uh, he activates the um, the trap, but at this point I win. I destroy his monster, he special summons the level 5, I think, which will float again, but that doesn't matter. I get into my alternative, alternative pop. He gets the brother out, I can just add another monster. And I I think I here I go for my ultimate. Yeah. And I'm gonna let this animation go through because this never uh, ne is never uh, summoned. And I think he has a uh, way too um, too good of uh, animation not to be shown. Yeah, we're going to blue eyes uh, just because I can't attack uh, three times and uh, if. If he plays Finis Chain, he can target a normal monster, so I, I special summon that monster. I, it was the best one in that. Um, what it is? Uh, the best one in that. Um, that the type of monsters that I could summon there. But yeah. Uh, so I hope you guys learned uh, this deck uh, enough. I hope I gave my. Uh, I explained well how to play this deck, so uh, now you can play it too, or you can learn how to counter it, because if you, the first thing for you to be able to counter a deck is to understand how he plays, so yeah. Um, this was my Blue Eyes decklist. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed um, this video, and yeah, um, drop a like if you did. Comment down below what deck you want to see next. I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do a, a, a Crystal Beast for next video because the the skill was just changed and I I already have a kind of a good build with it. Um, even so that uh, I like OTK um, Noble Knights, but yeah, um, I'm I think I'm gonna get into that. Um, and yeah, uh, subscribe to never miss uh, any of my content, 
uh, and you, to really never miss any notification, uh, click on the bell so you know when I uh, up upload again. And yeah, that's it. See you guys next time.